Hello. Hello. Welcome back to our channel. This week we're going to talk about should you heat your van over winter? So very quick intro, then we'll head out to the van and show you what we do. So the question we get asked quite a lot, and it's on lots of forums and things, is do you heat, we heat our van over winter? Do we heat our van? Uh, if we're in it, 100%, absolutely, <laughs> yes. Why would you not? Okay, yeah, I got that wrong slightly. I mean, when we're not in the van, do we heat it on the, um, over winter when it's on the drive? So we're going to show you what we do, and controversially, we don't heat our van over winter. Ooh, controversial. Why don't we heat the van? Because we're tight and we don't want to pay for the electricity. <laughs> well, that's one reason. The cost, obviously, if you've got to heat the van, um, generally, you obviously, got the cost of either heating your van using the gas or electric in your van or using a small oil filled heater or something plugged into your van. Um, we do have the van on the drive. We have got it connected to the main, so we could do that, but we're not going to. And we'll show you why. The other thing as well, if you're running it heating, you generally need to run a dehumidifier to take the moisture out of the air. So you've got two things running, um, but we don't do that, and we'll show you why. Let's go out to the van. So, welcome to the van. Come in, see it warts and all before it's all prepped and tidied up like it normally is before we do any filming in here. This is how we leave it when we're not doing anything in it. Over winter. Over winter, yes. So as you can see behind me, this is how we keep the van when we're not travelling in it over winter. And this is the cushion stood up on their end in the rear lounge. This is like the airflow around so the air can circulate in the van. There's nothing touching against the walls and nothing to cause the dreaded damp. So. We keep it like this, come in and turn them over every couple of weeks just to make sure they don't deform on their end, and that's it, simple. We also empty the cupboards, so we take pretty much everything out of the van. We do leave some stuff in, some things that aren't perishable, but we leave, I mean, most, empty most of the stuff out of the cupboards, clothes, etc. as well, so nothing can go damp. So we always make sure all of our bedding is out the van, um, and this is the uh, mattress topper um, from the bed in the pop top. Uh, so we'd normally actually keep this inside we've just uh, we just brought it back in we needed the inside space um so again we just kept it away from the walls not touching anything so it's not uh, causing any damp yeah we do leave the the pop top mat mattress up top actually it doesn't doesn't cause any problems because it's on the little springs um it doesn't actually sit on anything so it's nice and um aired isn't it yes yeah, so the mattress is fine there is there is space around that this is just the mattress topper and, yeah. and we just decided that we'd take this off um so it wasn't um compressed in the roof over winter yeah just make sure there's no plastic bags in your roof as well because obviously condensed condensation goes up there quite quickly just one final point, we keep the blinds closed in the so in the winter as well, at the front you can see there. And then just one thing that Caroline absolutely hates, above her head that she can't see, <laughs> um, oh, is all, that... <clears throat> all this mess here. Yeah, I'd much prefer to have this pulled over and closed, it's much neater. We have a roof flap that covers that up, so you don't normally see that in the van, but we keep that open in the winter just to let, again, the air flow around the van completely. And then also it's easy for me when I come out and it's a nice sunny day in the winter, I just pop the roof and then leave the door open for an hour or so if it's sunny. Again, just helps the air circulate around the van. We also keep the cushions open as well. The, the front lounge ones just popped up, so again, out the way. Let's see airflow. One thing that's really important, but most people generally know this, is even your fridge open. If your fridge is closed, it can cause damp and mold inside the fridge. So we generally leave it open. But one thing also we do is we shove inside the freezer box a out, kitchen utensil. And this just keeps the freezer box open as well. It's not just the fridge, the freezer box, because you can get uh, damp and mold inside there as well. Obviously, if it's, if it's sealed. So generally, just to make sure your fridge is kept open. Um, and in the bathroom, we just keep the sink down, uh, the door open, try and prop the door open if we can, and keep the uh, cabinet cupboards open. It just makes sure that there's uh, air circulation, which seems to be important in this video. So hopefully you found that useful. Uh, as we said, we don't keep the van heated over winter. We leave it like this. One of the reasons we do that as well is if you look at dealer forecourts that are kept, probably vans don't sell over winter. They're, all the vans are kept on the forecourt in exactly the same state. They usually open them up to let them air, but they don't have any damp issues. So I think heating the van is great if you want to do that. It's entirely up to you, but we keep ours unheated and we just make sure there's plenty of airflow and it's, it's regularly uh, opened up just to make sure that the air can flow around the van. Simple. Anything else to add? Don't forget airflow. <laughs> great. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next week's video. Bye.
One final point in the van is to bring your pet, if you have one, in now and again. Just make sure that no little creatures get inside your van. This one keeps coming out and having a sniff around and exploring, doesn't she? She does. Uh, the other thing with having a warm van of winter, it can attract creatures like mice, etc. So again, the beast is coming in, do you? No. So we bring Molly in every now and again, just to have a little sniff around to put any creatures off as well.